we're coming to you from inside the fifth wheel. Why? Because it's kind of chilly out and windy and we just didn't want to deal with it. It's a little cloudy. Wait, are we, are we going to do a weather update? This is a weather video. Weather video is all about weather in southeast Arizona. You thought it was about plants, but it's not. Wrong, sorry. Clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, Green Dream Project is back again. Jim here. And Jessica. But today's video is all about, what is today's video about? I don't even know. You don't know. I'm outside digging all day. I don't know what, <laughs> what, what anything is going on in the world. It's about one of the plants that we were talking about having in our garden, which we want to get started soon. Probably like next month, right? Got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. I've uh, been doing so much digging, it's ridiculous. Luckily, I got crew to help. Oh, I said his name. I invoked. <laughs> I am. I invoked trouble. <laughs> Settle down. Settle down. We don't. We don't need your help. Uh oh. <laughs> he wants to be on camera. Sorry, buddy. He can't be on camera. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He's about to put these Duluth pants to the test. Oh, so a lot of digging, man. And there's more digging. We're not gonna get away from the digging. Can you dig it, sucker? If you know who says that, leave that down below. Grapes. <laughs> Finally getting down to it. Grapes. Oh yeah. And why do we want grapes? Well, number one, right? Grapes? For grapes. For, for, for grapes, for eating. The fruit. Grapes can be used for eating or making wine. Mm -hmm. We're probably gonna be more the eating. Oh, he's busy. I have to console crew while we continue on with this. So people also, after they prune their grapevines, the leaves and stems can be fed to goats and sheep, but also people can eat the leaves. I believe there's like a traditional Balkan dish where they, it's like stuffed grape leaves. You know what I'm excited about? Uh, the cover that grapevines can uh, produce here with the ample sun that we have we actually need to moderate that. Growing grapes over a trellis would definitely help, especially in the summertime, help shedding the other crops. And the grape leaves, you know, they have those nice flat, broad leaves that can provide the shade and kind of cool the ground beneath them in the summer, which is great. And in the winter, they lose their leaves, so that allows more light in during that time when you want more light. I think grapes also have some medicinal uses too. Mm. Uh, for example, the sap was used by European folk healers for skin and eye diseases. What kind of grapes are we gonna grow? Yeah, that's the question. Oh, awesome! I got the <laughs> I got the question right. But now, what's the answer? Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh I you it. messed. White cheek to cheek. <laughs> See? Why does that work? Because the, it's the inner glow. Oh. It's the inner glow from our love. So there's four main categories of grapes. There's delicious grapes, more delicious grapes, great grapes, and great apes. Uh, wasn't there a grape ape? Oh yeah. Grape ape. Who remembers grape ape? <laughs> <laughs> leave, that down, leave that down in the comments. <laughs> He's chewing on the tripod. Crew's eating our tripod. <laughs> oh, he's scared from all the wind. He doesn't like wind. Okay, so of the four types, I mean, there's lots of different cultivars and hybrids, so there's a mm. lot to choose from. But we have the European grapes, which are 
native of the Mediterranean area mm. and Central Europe and Southwest Asia and European ones are going to be Thompson, Flame, uh, Ruby, Seedless, and there's a bunch more varieties and different hybrids. There are also uh, American grapes, um, also called fox grape, and they're native of Eastern North America. So some of the American varieties are gonna be the Concord. Is that related to the jelly? Yeah, and sometimes uh, juices are made of it. Also Catawba, Niagara, and there's another one called the Summer Grape, or sometimes called Pigeon Grape. Mm. That's also native of the Eastern part of North America. And Muscadines. Ken Folk Farmer Georgia knows all about that. Right, Shane? He could tell you all about muscadines. But that grows well in the southern U.S., kind of southeastern. They like warm, kind of more humid climates. Mm. Cheek to cheek. That is spooky. Let's just, we're just going to have to do the whole thing like this. What's next? Pull the hey. No. This guy might be helping. Oh. Oh, Jess. Okay, <laughs> we're back. So we have to pick a type that's right for us here. So I think we have to consider, is it a better table grape or wine grape? Also, it's cold hardiness, it's heat tolerance, maybe what elevation it would do best in, and how drought tolerant is it? Another thing to consider is if that variety is self-fertile or what's called dioecious. Oh, dioecious. What's that? That is when the male and female flowers are on separate plants. So a self-fertile plant or a hermaphrodite would have the male and female flowers on the same plant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we be talking about this? Is this, is this safe for daytime consumption? So I'm thinking the European grapes would do better here. Why do you think the European ones? They're more heat tolerant. Those muscadines do well in heat, but they're more of a humid heat. But European grapes, you know, they're grown in the Mediterranean and some areas which are drier, they can take some dryness. Wait, what'd I do? What's going on? I got cement on my face? <laughs> it's quite possible I could have cement on my face. Look, he's not crazy all the time, are you, buddy? All right, so as many of you may know or may not know, we've had a couple of giveaways recently. We had one on our Patreon. Uh, we gave one away on Instagram. Congratulations to Ashley of Farm Alarm. And we're giving one away right here. Drum roll, please. Is that how it goes? So congratulations to Jen over there at Sunshine Farm. Yay. You are the winner. She commented, I am so in. Guess what? You are so the winner. <laughs> so congratulations. We are going to get these out ASAP. Yeah. And stay tuned for possibly more giveaways. We're gonna be doing more paintings and we honestly don't have the room for them, so we just gotta give them away. Bah! Painting everywhere. Yep, here on YouTube or on other social media. So many thanks everyone for tuning in and watching. Uh, many thanks to all those people that entered. We're so happy to be sending these out. Uh, if we mentioned your channel in here, we're gonna leave links to all these channels down below. Check them out. So thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you like grapes, Give this video a thumbs up. Who doesn't like grapes? That should get a, a thumbs up from everyone. Come on. Dogs, they can't. No, don't, don't feed grapes to your dogs. If you haven't subscribed, please do, because 
more giveaways. Share this with a friend or two because guess what? They like grapes. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. That's right, everyone. Thanks a lot for joining us. We'll catch you on the next video.